Hi, my name is Mark Belich. I'm president of torontojobs.ca. Thanks for watching. In this weekly update, I share with you what's happening in today's job market and some updates and thoughts of what you should be doing if you're a job seeker. So Canada's unemployment rate reached a record 13.7% unemployment rate last week. It was announced uh, for Canada. Statistics Canada typically announces these numbers on Fridays, uh, the first Friday of every month uh, for the previous month. So they recorded a record high unemployment rate. Economy added, on the other hand, 289,600 jobs in the month of May, with uh, businesses reporting and people easing restrictions on businesses and so on. Uh, at the unemployment rate, uh, what top of basically the previous high of 13.1% that was set in December of 1982. So in essence, in a few short months, we've gone from one of the lowest unemployment rates in Canada ever to one of the highest unemployment rates in Canada ever. It's, which is an unbelievable swing. Uh, the, un, uh, the increase in the unemployment rate also was as a result of more people looking for work. Uh, the average economist estimated that 500,000 people uh, would be created, or uh, we'd have a $500,000 500, loss in jobs for the month of May, uh, but, uh, and that the unemployment rate would be uh, going up to 15%, so we're actually better than that. We also had, if you remember, if you've seen some of my other previous webinars, we've had a month of uh, the month of March where we lost a million jobs in Canada and we lost uh, two million jobs in the month of April. Uh, so a total of three million. So we've recaptured about 300,000 of those uh, three million jobs. We also, they also, Statistics Canada also reported that um, the number of people who work less than half their usual hours fell by almost 300,000 in May. Also, Bombardier announced that they will lay off 2,500 uh, workers as well uh, in their company across Canada. Other changes that came up over the last little while, Ontario made temporary changes to layoff regulations to help businesses. So their, uh, Ontario temporarily is amending its labor laws to help businesses avoid permanently laying off workers and paying out severances, uh, which could have resulted in uh, some businesses uh, going into bankruptcy during the pandemic. So basically, it's empl the um, uh, Employment Standard Act is being amended to help businesses terminate employees who have been laid off for 13 weeks. Uh, the law requires the businesses to pay severance to workers. So uh, basically, if, if, uh, if somebody's had their hours reduced or eliminated, placed on temporary leave, that job is preserved and the workers will be eligible for federal emergency income supplement programs as well. So, um, so it basically changes uh, layoff provisions and terminations for uh, workers for across Ontario. Some of the upcoming events this week that you may want to participate in. Uh, first off, every day, every weekday at 12 o'clock Toronto time, I'm on this Facebook Live uh, segment, uh, which is uh, on a different employment topic that uh, comes up. And you can check out our torontojobs.ca YouTube channel for previous videos that, that we've done. Uh, tomorrow uh, being Tuesday, June 9th at 2 o'clock Eastern Time, I'm on Next Steps Employment Center webinar. Uh, it's, uh, the topic is hiring during COVID, so I'm going to be uh, interviewed by them. So if you want some information about that, just go to torontojobs.ca slash news for the registration or just Google Next Steps Mark Belash with a C, Mark, uh, June 9th. And you'll see the information about that as well. So that's happening tomorrow, Tuesday, June 9th at 2 o'clock to 3 o'clock Eastern Time, which is Toronto time. Uh, on Wednesday, June 10th, from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Uh, Eastern Time, Gary Prenovo, uh, who's the president of FranNet, Southern Ontario and Eastern Canada, is going to be doing a free webinar on franchise opportunities and business ownership as an alternative career option. So if you're interested in getting into franchising or buying a franchising or even getting into business on your own, you may be interested in uh, visiting that uh, uh, webinar or checking that webinar out. Again, same thing, torontojobs.ca slash news for the link and the registration information. On Thursday, June 18th, the Canadian Virtual Sell Your Business Conference, if you're thinking about either buying or selling a business or know somebody who is, is going to be on. If you're interested in more information about that, just uh, email me at mark.belage, so it's M-A-R-C dot B-E-L-A-I-C-H-E at torontojobs.ca. And then uh, finally, if you're a financial, if you're a senior financial person watching this video, you might be interested in the Canadian Virtual CFO Conference, and that is happening Thursday, June 25th from 2 to 4 p.m. Uh, Toronto time, Eastern time, and message me for that 
uh, for information on that as well. So mark.belash at torontojobs.ca. Some of the other notes, uh, other things that are going on this week, uh, this is the CERB week, so you can apply for potentially your fourth month for the Canada Emergency Response Benefit for 2000. Uh, I believe you can apply uh, based on your month of uh, birth as well. So three things, if you are a job seeker and you are looking to be a little bit motivated or recharged or set some goals for you for this week, here are, some, here are three goals that I thought would be helpful for you to do for this, uh, for this week. One is, Focus on how your industry or your area of expertise is changing during COVID-19. Businesses are definitely resilient. They're going to be changing how they're going to be operating, what jobs are going to be happening. Uh, for example, health and safety is going to be a, a growth opportunity, I believe, in terms of new jobs. But either way, commit to reading for your goal. Commit to reading at least one blog post this week, which should be fairly easy to do. Your second goal for this week as motivation should be to connect with at least 10 new people in LinkedIn. Send messages, confirm that you are connected with them, not just send a message just for the sake of connecting, but connect with 10 people this week that you didn't already know or you weren't familiar with and send them messages and try to create a relationship with them, perhaps have a phone call, perhaps have a Zoom call with them and so on. And the third thing, third goal for this week for you is to watch at least three videos or webinars on job search. You can check out a bunch of job search videos on our torontojobs.ca YouTube channel if you want. Uh, there's uh, our Facebook Live, as I mentioned already today, uh, at 12 o'clock every day, uh, every weekday that is on torontojobs.ca. You can check me out. I talk about a different topic, so that can go towards your, your goal of three videos or webinars that you can watch for this week. It shouldn't be a problem with all the webinars and invitations and so on that people are getting or inviting you to. You shouldn't have a problem getting that, uh, those three goals. So again, your three goals are read at least for this week, read at least one blog post this week. Two is connect with at least 10 people through LinkedIn. And three, and that could be me, by the way, as well, if you haven't connected with me already. And the third one is to watch at least three videos or webinars on job search this week to help you out. So in conclusion, there's no doubt it's a tough job market. Stay positive. Things are slowly starting to ease as businesses reopen in Ontario uh, and across Canada. Things will slowly get better. But of course, uh, it's still a tough market. So be prepared to pivot. Be prepared to uh, be flexible. Maybe take on a contract. Maybe do part-time hours if you're not getting a full-time job. And be prepared to work from home. That's where things are going right now. So Again, my name is Mark Belash. I'm president of torontojobs.ca. Feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn, as I mentioned. You can also uh, connect with us on all our social media. We're on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Instagram. And feel free to post your resume and search and apply to positions on our site as well. And sign up to job mail alerts where you can find out about uh, jobs that are being posted every week and or every day as well. Again, feel free to check me out on Facebook Live on torontojobs.ca every weekday at 12 o'clock on a different employment topic. And wish you luck, stay safe, be well, and thanks for watching.